I choose you. <laughs> I don't know if you guys ever catch yourself singing that song after it plays or after you watch my videos. Because I, I do it 24-7. I can't. I really cannot help it. It's just stuck in my head. But um, anyways, it's 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 really it's really funny. Like I, I tweeted out on Twitter, right? Um, Jesus, I'm I'm thinking about the story already. I tweeted out on, on Twitter. Uh, would you guys like to hear one of my drunk stories? And then I, I posted a picture. It was how I threw up on one of these girls' heads. All right. It, it, she, and yeah, you guys said you wanted to see it, so here it is. All right. Um, honestly, I don't know if anybody knows the Florida area because I'm from Florida. Um, we went to a, this is after literally we just uh, after high school. You know, we wanted to go to college parties or whatever, and. It was 35 to 45 minutes away from my house. It's called Florida Atlantic University, um, FAU for short. And uh, I had some friends up there. They were like, yo, come through, come party with us and all this other good stuff. So we're like, yo, of course, we're going to come party, whatever. And uh, we got pretty much belligerently drunk, wasted, intoxicated, whatever you want to call it. It was an ABC party. So if you guys don't know, that means anything but clothes. So you can wear, We were. I was literally wearing, uh, I think, a towel. No, I was wearing... I was wearing uh, bed sheets. I was wearing bed sheets and I was using them like a toga. I think I might have another picture. I might, I might put it on the screen right now. But um, I was using bed sheets and using it like a toga. And uh, one of my friends, you know, it, it, we were just all wearing different stuff. And the girl that I threw up on, you know, she was wearing the. She was. She looked fine. She looked good. She was looking really good. And uh, she she wore a uh, tape. She wore duct tape, leopard print duct tape around her her tatas in her private area. You know, she was looking she was looking really good though. Whatever. And uh, eventually, after the party is done, you know, like I said, we were wasted, drunk, and uh, I was sitting there. I was sitting in the back seat. There's like four people in the car. And this is my friend's brand new 2013 Honda Accord, decked out, looked nice, clean. It was, it was nice. It was their, it was his parents' car, and my friend. It, it, his name is Juan, right? My his name is Juan. But the chick chick fell asleep in my in my lap, right? She fell asleep in my lap. I fell asleep, uh, sitting back, regular. Nothing's going on. No sexual in innuendos, guys. Don't don't get on that that verge, YouTube. But she fell asleep in my lap. I'm I I fell asleep sitting straight up. Whatever. I wake up out of nowhere. It's like the exorcism. I don't know what hit me, but literally I just start throwing up projectile vomit just all over her head, looking straight down. Blah! I look up. I'm vomiting on the back of the back of the seat. Uh, vomiting in the front of the windshield, you know, I'm just, it's going everywhere, I can't control it, I'm shaking my head left to right, and it's following me, and oh my god, I'm throwing up everywhere, it, it was a big mess, my friend, he was pissed, because it's his parents' new car, he pulls over on the side of the road, and he's like, yo, everyone get the fuck out, and, and he was just pissed, honestly, he was so heated, so we all get out the car, I eventually take off my shirt, take off my pants, we're in the middle of the intersection on 95, and I just start, I start, I was like, yo, I don't, I don't know how I'm going to get home, I don't, we're like literally 30 minutes drive away from, because we drove for like 20 minutes. We're like a 30 minute drive away from my house on 95. Therefore, it's going to be like a three day walk or a two year walk, however long it takes me. You know, I don't, I don't know how fast I can move. Okay. I'm like a turtle. I am immobile. But um, anyway, so, so we get out the car. I get out the car. And I'm like, yo, I'm going to have to walk home. I'm in my boxers. I'm in the middle of the intersection on I-95 on the highway. And I'm in, I take off my pants, take off my shirt, and I'm sitting here walking home. I'm like, yo, I'm walking home. I was drunk. I don't know what I'm doing, right? So I start walking home, and I realize that I was walking the wrong way. This is where I first fucked up. I was walking the wrong way, and there was throw up all over my clothes. And second, I didn't think this through because you can really get arrested for walking down 95 one, walking, and two, for not having any, any clothes on other than your boxers. So eventually, my friends, honestly, they stopped me. They were like, yo, get back in the car, whatever. My friend was pissed, but another one of my friends, he, he kind of talked to him a little bit, got him to get me back in the car, and we're, we're driving home. It was the most awkward drive home I've ever had. They throw my little throwpy clothes in the trunk. I'm sitting there in my boxers with my hands on my lap, you know, uh, and the, the chick just stares at me. She's like, I'm going to kill you. It, it was just, it was an awkward situation, and honestly, I... I don't even, I tried to, literally, I don't even think I was this, that drunk anymore. I think I, I kind of woke up. I don't think I was that drunk in the first place. I could have been sick or something. But, uh, uh, so, I wake up or whatever. You know, um, I said wake up. I'm sitting there, and I'm just trying to act like I'm drunk, you know. I don't want to, I, I don't want to make it, it's already awkward as it is, and I just want to, I just don't want them to worry about me and them to think I'm drunk or whatever. So, I'm sitting there acting drunk, pretending, doing all this other stuff till we get home. We finally get home, and... His brother, my friend that I threw up in the car, his brother is throwing a rager. 
we get home, music is blaring, we see we see people outside, you know, drinks, smoking, doing whatever, all that bad stuff that you shouldn't be doing. And uh, <laughs> Jesus, man, it, it is it, it gets worse too because he gets out of the car. And the first thing he sees is there's just some guy outside his house and he's being really loud. And my friend is like, yo, shut up. Go inside and stop making so much noise. And he's not even making that much noise. I think eventually he starts whispering. And my friend says, if you talk, if you say one more word, I'm going to beat you up. And he says, I'm not even being loud, bro. Relax. And my friend straight decks him in the face and just all hell breaks loose. It, it wasn't even all hell breaks loose. That kid just stopped. That kid, I don't even know what he was doing. He literally just paused. And froze. You just got hit in the face, and you look like a bitch. I think you just went home or whatever. And you still hear the music going on inside. He walks in. He walks inside. Like first of all, I was like, "Yo, can I go inside to to clean myself up a little bit?" And I'm sitting here in my boxers, and he was like, "No, get the fuck out." Whatever. All this other shit. So I'm like, "Damn, all right. I'm just gonna go in my car, fall asleep, whatever." But eventually, you know, I, I was in my car. I just hear all this other screaming or whatever. I guess he eventually went inside. And punched his brother for throwing a party because he was already pissed off as it is. I threw up in his car. He was pissed off as it is, and and it literally he he went inside and I guess beat the shit out of him because uh, I heard he drop kicked him. You know, Falcon punched him. He was doing he was doing all kinds of things. I, I he, when he I saw the picture on Instagram of his brother's face. He was pretty busted up, and it, I I couldn't help but laugh. But I'm just sitting here. The this was the next day when I was laughing. Literally, I was like. I fucked up. This is the most awkward situation. Because I've never ever thrown up in anybody's car. I've never thrown up in anybody's house. Nothing from being drunk. N never. Never period. Just never throwing up. And I was just sitting there. This was such a horrible situation. Um, oh my god. It just turned into such a shit show that wasn't planned. And I, don't, I didn't even think I was that intoxicated. You know, it just came out of nowhere. And oh my god. It was just so awkward. It was the most awkward thing I've literally ever not not ever been through because I have a lot worse drunk stories, but I'm I don't think I can tell you some of those because those get kind of embarrassing. But um, anyways, if you guys did like the video, make sure you leave a like. Um, comment down below and let me know if you guys sing the tune that I sing. I mean my my little intro video too, and uh, let me know what you guys think about my story. If you guys thought it was hilarious like I did. Um, but it, oh my god, man, I, I don't know. Should I keep the series going? Should I make this a series? Should I? I don't know what I should do with it. But anyways, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video like I said, and I'll see you guys later, man. Peace.